It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Monday, the 4th of October. I'm Michael Graff. Dry and warm today. In fact, this might just be the warmest day we have, not only of the forecast period, but maybe for the rest of the year. And then we turn cooler and unsettled tomorrow with showers and thunderstorms becoming likely. Maybe a few strong storms as well. With periods of clouds for the rest of the week, maybe some more rain by Friday, and the potential of a major pattern change by next week. All right, let's talk about it. First, yesterday in the valley, 96 degrees, the afternoon high, 69 was the morning low. The normal high, 94, the normal low, 71. And as we take a look out there now, just after 6 a.m., a few clouds around this morning, and we're sitting at 75 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew point at 48, relative humidity 39%. The winds are light, and the barometer is rising. The upper air, look across the country. We've got high pressure out here across the west, but look at what's looming to the west of us. We have an upper low off the Southern California coast. That will be coming through here tonight, tomorrow, and tomorrow night bringing a chance of rain with it and much cooler temperatures as it does. And broad troughing will follow that low and become the dominant feature out here through the west. The watch warning map is extremely quiet across the country. Now, we do have some dense fog advisories scattered about up north and through parts of the deep south, a flash flood watch over sections of Alabama as well. The convective outlook for today, no organized severe weather expected across the country. Now, there is a risk of thunder here. You see across the southwest, we're in the green. But that won't be until later tonight as that upper low begins to enter the region. And the tropics beginning to quiet down. Victor is almost off the board. It's pretty much a nondescript upper low now. And we still have Sam out there in the North Atlantic. It still retains its hurricane status for the moment. Top winds at 105 miles per hour. This will become post-tropical and just meander up toward Greenland, somewhere between Greenland and Iceland uh, later this week. Here's the precipitation outlook. This is valid through next Monday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts in Phoenix generally at or under one quarter of an inch. A locally heavier amount is possible in a few spots, though, with some embedded thunderstorms. And, of course, heavier totals expected across northern and eastern Arizona as well, with an unsettled pattern coming in here tonight and tomorrow, which we'll talk about that and everything else now as we dive into modeling. Here we go. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Here comes our upper low, a southwesterly flow out ahead of it. Clouds on the increase today, so down at the surface. Yes, partly sunny sky. Mostly cloudy to overcast by later this afternoon, though. High temperatures today on the warm side still. We'll be in the mid-90s. In fact, the warmest desert spots of southeast California, southwest Arizona may just touch 100 degrees. And that could be the last time we see those kind of readings until next spring. Let's hope so. Here in Phoenix, we're going with a high of uh, 93 to 97. Tonight, cloudy sky and showers and thunderstorms will begin to develop as that upper low enters the region. Now, initially, the subcloud layer will be too dry for any meaningful precipitation. It'll take some time for the atmosphere to get juiced up. But by midnight or so, we should see at least a chance of rain in here. Overnight lows tonight, mid-60s to low 70s, and then tomorrow. Mostly cloudy, showers likely, some embedded thunderstorms as well. And if we manage to get a little bit of sun with this low coming through in a negative tilt fashion with that cooler air aloft, we could get enough instability for a few strong storms, maybe even a brief severe storm possible. But we're not going to count on that. It's not going to rain all day either, just kind of off and on showers and isolated thunderstorms. High temperatures tomorrow, much cooler, mid 80s, maybe cooler than that if more rain materializes. But that's what we're going with for now. By tomorrow night, Wednesday, that low begins to move out. We turn mostly sunny on Wednesday. High temperatures, upper 80s to near 90. Thursday, some more clouds coming in out ahead of a broader trough developing out over the eastern Pacific. We'll call it partly cloudy highs, upper 80s to near 90. On Friday, deep troughing continues out over the eastern Pacific, stronger ridging developing to the east, and that puts Arizona kind of in between. And the pressure gradient, especially in the mid-levels, really starts to tighten here. So we should see winds aloft really increasing, becoming very strong for this part of the country. In fact, up into the 95th to 99th percentile. Look at these winds aloft, uh, upwards of 80 knots here across Arizona. And when you combine that with a perturbation or two moving through the flow, a little short wave, that could trigger at least some isolated showers. Again, the air mass will be relatively dry in the subcloud layer. So any rain that would be generated by this would be on the light side, but we'll still put that as a mention in the forecast for Friday, at least a 20% chance of showers, mostly cloudy sky, and high temperatures mid-80s or so. 
By Saturday, part of the cloudy sky returns. Troughing continues to the west of us. Most of that energy and dynamic support will eventually pass to the north. High temperatures should again be somewhere in the mid 80s to around 90. Then cooling off a little bit with troughing passing to our north and somewhat cool air advection comes in. High temperatures drop to the low and middle 80s on Sunday. And again, the sky partly to mostly sunny. All right, now let's go out to next week. This is Monday, the 11th of October, and troughing will become the dominant feature. We see a rather cool upper trough now over the Pacific Northwest. Heights a little below average here. High temperatures likely only low to mid 80s, and that's several degrees below average for this time of year, almost 10 degrees below normal, in fact, in some spots. Here's Tuesday, the 12th, cold upper trough passing by. And so temperatures will head down. In fact, if this verifies, we may have highs in the mid to upper 70s. And a few showers possible, mainly across northern Arizona. The better moisture would be there. The dynamic support stays a little bit further to the north. This is October, after all. We generally don't get uh, the deeper systems coming this far south. And then here's the end of the forecast period. This is Wednesday, the 13th. And again, look at that bowling ball system up across the Dakotas. My goodness, if that verifies, a 977 millibar low, pretty close to Grand Forks and Fargo, North Dakota. And so they'd be getting some heavy rain, maybe some snow on the backside of that system, some strong and severe storms out ahead of it. Cooler air around here, high temperatures again, maybe upper 70s. But let me show you, this is the European at the same time. This is Tuesday the 12th. Check out that cold core system coming into the southwest heights, way below average. If that were to be the correct solution, high temperatures here in Phoenix may struggle to make 70 degrees. We could see a few snowflakes flying in northern Arizona. And then this would be Wednesday the 13th off the Euro. And again, it shows that deep upper low moving up into the Dakotas and Minnesota. So rather remarkable consistency on the global models. The only difference is a slightly more intense solution off the European, but that's still very interesting. All right, let's take a look at rainfall for the Phoenix area. This coming off of the GFS Ensemble. Again, very consistent signs here. Generally, uh, right around a third of an inch for the next couple of weeks. Most of that coming with this system tonight and tomorrow. And then temperatures off the national blend of models. How about this? Yeah, we're very warm today maybe just a couple of degrees above average, but then highs dropping. And in fact, by next week, there you see it. Highs in the 70s, overnight lows in the 60s, maybe even dropping into the 50s. Yes, fall has really arrived here. We love it. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. You guys be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there. Watch your kids around the swimming pool and have yourselves a tremendous Monday.